first let's take a look at the keyboard layout. The keyboard is set up to allow quick and easy use. The majority of the keys are one touch keys that simplify the operation and save time. Now in the upper left corner is the power button and just press it for a few seconds and the ultrasound will power up. Now one of the first things you may notice is how the keyboard layout is really simple and designed for use with one hand. It is really easy to navigate using the trackball which is about centered right on the keyboard. And then the keys that surround the trackball have been placed so that it, they can be easily accessed quickly while scanning patients. Let's take a closer look at the keys surrounding the trackball and take note of their functions. First we have the enter key which is used to make selections when using the trackball. Then next to that we have the calc key. Pressing this allows the ability to enter the measurement software package and then select the preferred choice. Then we have the trace key and by pressing this key it allows to make specific measurements based on a traced area. And then next to the trace key we have the distance key. Press this key to make measurements of a desired distance. Then at the top in the middle here we have a menu knob. Press this knob to enter a specific menu. And while in the menu the knob can then be rotated to a desired function, press down on the knob again a selection can be made and then adjusted by rotating the knob. Then finally pressing the knob a third time will exit the selection. Next to the knob here we have the change key. This key is used to change between menus. Then we have the cursor key which looks like an arrow. By pressing this it will show or hide the cursor on the screen. Then we have the exit key. Press this key at any time to exit menus and measurements and then return to the main imaging screen. And then finally we have the update key which can be used for several functions. It can either be used to make selections on certain menus, to change between the starting and ending point while making measurements, or to go back to the previous point while using the trace function. Next you'll notice that there are three other knobs that are close to the center group of keys. First over here we have our angle and zoom knob. Simply rotate to adjust the angle or zoom and then press the knob to change the function between angle or zoom. Then over here we have our gain knob which is used to adjust the gain of the B mode and the M mode. And then over here we have our depth and focus knob. And again simply rotate to adjust the depth or focus position and then press to change between depth and focus. Now above the center group of keys here, we also notice that there are different imaging modes. First we have our B mode, then we have our BB mode, next to that we have our 4B mode, and then finally we have our M mode, or it can be also switched from M mode to BM mode. Let's now look at the group of keys that's found on the left side of the keyboard. First we have our probe key, which allows to switch between different probes and specific examinations for a selected probe. Next is the patient key. By pressing this key, you can set up new patient information, such as name, gender, doctor, age, and other information. This is the setup key, which allows access and customizing of all the system settings. The end key is used when an exam is finished and it clears the screen for the start of a new exam. Then we have the body mark key, which is used when an image is frozen. It allows selecting specific body marks. This key is for the comments. This will allow the ability to enter comments on an image. Next is the arrow key, which adds arrows to an image wherever needed. Then the delete key, which clears measurement lines, body marks, and comments. This key is for the archives. It accesses the file management system where patient data can be viewed and edited. Next to that is the report key, which will allow you to produce, save, or recall an examination report. And then finally, we have two print keys down below, which allows multiple printers to be used to print reports or images. 
Now if you notice our keyboard, you will see that it is a full function keyboard and very similar to a keyboard found on a computer, which makes it very easy to use. Above the keyboard is a group of keys that are used to control specific parameters. Now these controls depend on what functions are being used at the time on the ultrasound. Now as you can see, each set of keys corresponds to a specific function that can either be increased or decreased by pressing up or down. Now for example, this is in B mode right now, and here we see with this key is a probe frequency that can be changed either up or down. Next we have dynamic that can be adjusted either up or down. And then finally at the end we have persistence that can be adjusted up or down. Next let's look at the right side of the keyboard. First we have an 8 segment STC control. It can be used for adjusting gain compensation and different image depths. Now below the STC control is the AIO key, which stands for Automatic Image Optimization. This is a really nice feature because it will automatically adjust the settings to produce the best image. A unique feature of the ECO2 that the ECO1 doesn't have is THI, or Tissue Harmonics Imaging. Pressing the THI button will improve the axial resolution due to higher frequencies and provide better lateral resolution due to narrower beams. Next, below that, we have the left and right and up and down image invert keys. This key is the Cine Save key and by pressing it, it will save a current Cine loop. Next to that is the Image Save key that will save the current image. And finally, this key is the freeze key that will allow the image to be frozen or unfrozen. The final feature to highlight is the indicator lights that are above the STC control. From left to right is the adapter indicator. This will light up when the unit is connected to power. Next is the charge indicator that will light up when the battery is charging. When it is finished charging, the light will go out. And then the last indicator is the sleep indicator. When in sleep mode, the indicator will be lit up.